Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Coca-Cola can mod, which I received from www.sincitymods.com. Before I start though, I must point out I did receive it free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of the product remains true on its secret as always. Okay, let's go straight ahead and show you in a bit more detail. Okay, so here we have uh, one of the Sin City mods. And they're basically all sort of based around sort of uh, you know Coca-Cola cans, Pepsi cans, just basically cans of drink. And um, you can, I think, uh, pretty much sort of choose whatever can you want. If they don't stock it themselves, you can just sort of send them a picture, and then they will uh, source that drink, and then uh, make I pay a mod from there. So uh, in this case here, I've got a, a Coca-Cola can mod, which obviously has the uh, the lid and also like the main body. Inside the main body, uh, it looks like they've sort of inserted a sort of like a plastic tube and then injected plaster of sort of Paris around the outside. This means that the actual body is solid, so it's not like a flimsy sort of a can anymore. And it also adds a little bit of uh, weight to it as well. They also include a 6mm cartomizer tank, which comes with a, a pre punched cartomizer. You have a um, sort of a storage space for a 18650 battery. And this will come with a 510 connection and also one of these sort of connectors here. And this basically allows you to just swap all over the electronics. So if you don't want to use like a Coca-Cola can, if you've got another one, for example, they also sent me out a, a, a Gears of War emulsion drink, which I'm assuming is a drink that's available over in the States. So if I want to use this one rather than the uh, Coca-Cola one, I can just sort of uh, swap over the electronics. You then get uh, one of these sort of uh, connectors, which will be for the uh, the mouthpiece, and the mouthpiece is made from a Pyrex. Now, on this particular one, it has these little sort of glass nobules on the end, which, if I'm totally honest, looks suspiciously like a uh, some sort of clitoral stimulator. But um, moving on swiftly from that, you also get a 18650 battery. Okay, uh, let's go straight ahead and uh, put it all together and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, to start off with then, I'm just going to insert the battery into the, uh, the battery holder and the negative end goes towards the spring. So that just uh, slides in just like that. Okay, so like I said, it comes with a six mil tank with a pre-punched cartomizer. So all you've got to do is add your e-liquid and uh, you're good to go. So I've just uh, filled this up with some uh, tobacco flavored e-liquid and I just need to uh, screw it into the 510 connector which is uh, coming off the, uh, the battery holder. And then you've just got to take this uh, sort of plug, which is going to connect the cartomizer tank to the mouthpiece or the straw, and uh, that just uh, pops into the top. Now coming out of the battery, you're going to have a male connector and inside the actual uh, can mod, you're gonna have a female connector and you just gotta uh, basically push the two together. Okay, so now all the electronics are connected together. We just need to try and fit it inside the can. And the easiest way to do that is to uh, fold it over so the cartomizer tank is sort of running parallel with the, uh, the battery. Just avoid the, uh, the switch, which is sticking out slightly inside there and uh, just uh, slide them both in together all the way down to the bottom. Right, so here I have the lid to the mod, and as you can see, it has been modified uh, so that when you put the lid on top, you know, obviously this section here is gonna sort of fit nice and snug, and uh, you know, it's not gonna sort of fall off if you knock it. So I'm just gonna take the other straw and just uh, slide that through the hole. And then finally, I'm just gonna take the straw and connect it to the, uh, like the rubber bung there. So you've just gotta push that into place. And then just slide the, uh, the lid on. And uh, you can get the lid to be sort of slightly better matching just by sort of giving it a spin until it looks like it's in the right spot, which is about there. On the side, you're gonna have your manual button. It's not a nice big sort of a chunky button. So every time you wanna have a vape, you just gotta press that down. And hopefully you can hear that and it's firing up. Okay, so that is the Sin City Mods 
Coca-Cola can mod, I suppose that's what you called it. Let's go ahead and uh, see what it makes like. Okay, so that is the Coca-Cola can mod from SinCityMods.com. Now, in case you haven't already sort of guessed, it is a, a novelty item. It's not something you're going to be using as your all-day vape. You're not going to be going out around the shops with this or put, trying to put that in your pocket. Now, it is more of a, you know, stick it on your coffee table and have a bit of a sort of a conversation piece, really. Uh, you know, but nevertheless, you know, I will still go ahead and uh, give you a blast and show you in action. So I've got the tank filled up with some uh, 18 milligram strength tobacco flavoured e-liquid. Uh, and it's just a uh, lot of PG based e-liquid. Now, as you can see, like vapor wise, you're getting a nice amount of vapor and that out of it. You know, uh, throat hit wise, you get a nice, uh, strong throat hit. You know, I suppose um, throat it will be sort of fairly dependent on what sort of strength of e liquid you're using. Me personally, I find that the higher the nicotine content of the e liquid, like the stronger or the harsher the throat hit. But nevertheless, you know, I'm still getting a you know, good thump in the back of my throat and I'm getting uh, more than enough vapor. You know, um, battery life, well, you know, in one way, it's, it's excellent. It's probably lasted me well over a week, the battery, but that's because, obviously, I haven't really been using it as, like, a, a main device. You know, I've gone through about, sort of, I've had it for several weeks now, so I've probably gone through several, sort of, battery charges. But it's not something I can really use as an all-day vape because of, you know, you know, it's a Coke can at the end of the day, you know, and, uh, like I said, I can't really, um, I'm not going to be going out down the shops or, or where, wherever carrying this around with me, so it's something you just have at the side of you know, when you feel like having a bit of a toke on it, you have a bit of a toke on it, you know, but it's an 18650 battery, so with me, if I was going to use it as an all day vape, you know, every, every 18650 battery I've ever used in the past has always given me a full day's worth of vaping, so if you did happen to want to get one as your main device, then uh, as long as it's sort of pretty sort of moderate vaping, you should get a full day's worth of use out of it. The, uh, the button, it's a nice big chunky button. It's uh, you know it's quite a sort of a stiff sort of press. It's not obviously too stiff that you can't press it, but um, you know it's definitely um, a little bit stiffer compared to other buttons. But it's a nice sort of comfortable button to use, and it and it works uh, fine every single time. Um, you know overall, it's you know it's a good idea. Not something that I would use as a main device. It's definitely a more of a conversation sort of piece. And you know, and in fairness to um, Sin City Mods. You know, when they wrote to me, they did sort of say then, they know, this is a novelty item and it should be treated as a novelty item, really. Um, I probably, only slight negatives would be that that battery holder, it's easy to get the battery into it, but it's the right bugger to get out and, you know, you really do have to um, force your nails right down the, uh, down the side there and try and prise it out. And uh, the other thing is these little sort of strange nobules on the end of the mouthpiece. So I said, you know, it is suspiciously like uh, some sort of clitoral stimulator. And when you're vaping on it, it sort of feels a bit like one as well, to be honest. You know, it uh, feels a little bit odd when it's in your mouth. And, um, you know, these are designed by a woman. You know, so uh, maybe that's where the inspiration comes from. I don't know. But, um, you know, I personally, I prefer just like a plain straw end there, really. I'm not going to bother doing scores and marks out of 10. Like I said, it's a novelty item. You know, if you fancy trying one out for yourself, go along to www.sincitymods.com. Thank you very much for watching and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers, guys. Happy vaping. See you later.